So you're the best tumbler in the world now, huh? I've got a trophy to prove it. <laughs> yep, it's, uh, it looks cool and uh, congratulations. So uh, you're going to give away all your secrets? Well, we've made a video, so... Alright, so we started about eight months ago, so we're just going to rewind to then and show you how we did it. Hey everyone, I'm here with my neighbor Sam. Sam comes over every week for the last uh, couple of years and tumbles rocks with me. So he usually has a barrel or two going and just uses my equipment and uh, turns out a lot of nice rocks. So what are we doing today, Sam? Today we're going to be starting our entry for the Worldwide Rock Tumbling Contest. It's hosted by the Feather River Lapidary and Mineral Society. This year's rock is Lohantan Agate. It's from Nevada. So uh, we're going to be showing you not all the steps along the way, but some of the steps. Um, we, won't step, stop, we won't be checking in every week or anything, but we'll show you here and there along the way. So uh, what do you think of this rock? It's not the best rock I've ever seen, <laughs> for sure, for tumbling at least. And uh, that should set us apart from the competition. So Yeah, I've done this contest four or five times. And they send you pretty crummy, hard-to-tumble rocks. That way they can tell the difference between somebody who's good at tumbling and somebody who's not. Uh, if they sent really easy-to-tumble rocks, they'd probably all look the same in the end. So uh, hopefully we're up to this. Uh, this is Sam's contest. I'm just uh, letting him use my equipment, and I'll, I'll guide him along the way a little bit. So, yeah, let's, let's look at a few of these. We've got these black ones. They're not too interesting, but they look like they'll tumble okay. This one looks almost like limestone. Not high hopes for that one. No. Lots of little holes and pits. That does not look good. This one's cool. Yep. Hopefully it'll look nice, but it might undercut in those orange parts. Some sort of maybe brushiated. Yeah, looks looks kind of brushiated right in here. So uh, yeah, quite a variety um, for all being called the same kind of egg. It, it looks yeah. like it looks like <laughs> several different kinds of rocks. Uh, some of these are pretty small. What you do is uh, you. Everybody can tumble them any way they want. Uh, you can do some grinding on them. You can grind before, like right now, we could we could shape these on the on the um, cab machine over there and then tumble them. Or you can grind them in the first stage and then and then grind them. Um, so there's there's in that first stage you can use other equipment. At the end you pick out is it five or six? I think it's five. There are five best rocks and you mail them back and that's what they judge you on. So along the way, we'll just stop in here and there and uh, kind of show you how things are going. And uh, hopefully we got a, a winner. Yeah. Okay. We got one trophy over <laughs> here. Maybe we can get another one. All right. So uh, we'll see you after these get a little bit of tumbling time in. All right. It's been about a week. They've been tumbling in the rough polish. These black ones seem a bit harder. They're uh, not polishing too quick, which is good because it'll mean they'll probably take a better polish. These ones are a little bit softer. They look okay. A couple crummy ones look almost like cement. So uh, we'll throw them back in for a couple more weeks, and then we'll check back in when we decide if we want to grind any of them. All right, Sam, how are the rocks coming along? Uh, they're doing pretty good. It's been about a month. We've been tumbling them with the first stage grit. We've got a few spots still. We're going to grind them out. So the rules for this contest say that you can grind some stuff. So I'm going to read the, the appropriate rule here. It says... Applicants are permitted to remove before or after your rough tumble spalls, chips, cracks, and any other imperfections on a grinding wheel. After this initial cleanup, the rock must be allowed to go through and complete the tumbling process without any further handwork. So that's what we're going to do. This is after the rough stage, and they might still go back into the rough stage a little more, but we're going to do a little bit of grinding. So show just a couple examples of what you're going to grind off. Um, probably you know, there's a little chip line right there or something, uh, some holes like right there. So we could tumble those up, but the rock's going to get a lot smaller in the process, so. Um, there's one we might cut, there's a crack in one of these, I think it might have been this one. Maybe. Yeah, we're right going to cut off that crack right there. right there. So yeah, we might uh, grind or maybe even cut off a little piece, so. Anyhow, these rocks are not the prettiest rocks I've ever seen, but hopefully they turn out shiny in the end. That one's kind of cool. It's yeah. maybe the most interesting one. There's a little tiny itty bitty holes in that one though, so. Oh, there are? Yeah. Probably All not right. going to send that one. But. Yeah, only have to send five in, so we'll be picking the best ones in the end. All right, so get to grinding.
All right, how'd it go, Sam? It went pretty well. We did a lot of cutting and grinding. So uh, these should do fairly well. Another couple weeks in the tumbler probably, and most of them will be done, hopefully. These are the ones that we don't have a whole lot of hope for. That one looks like cement. But we'll throw them in anyway, see how they're going. Two of them are done, and there's the saw scraps we'll throw in with them. Alrighty. So uh, Sam did this all on his own. I peeked over his shoulder once in a while, but I was doing other stuff. And uh, he, he tells me these don't have any any hope. But a lot I, of them I, have little I, holes. I, okay. I still think that one looks cool. It looks cool, but little holes aren't can trap grip, grit. So. Yeah, no, I, I agree. All right, so throw them back in the tumbler, and we'll check on them later. All right, so uh, where are we at, Sam? Uh, so they've been through the rough stage. And they're all smooth. Some of them have some holes, but the black ones seem to be doing a little better. They don't have very many holes. So now we're going to put them in the vibratory tumble, tumbler for three days uh, in 220 silicon carbide, and we've got some filler rocks to go with them. How long have they been in the rotary tumbler? Uh, approximately four or five months, uh, give or take, depending on when they came out. They all came out at different weeks. So. That'd be like the last ones took yeah, that long. the last so. ones took about five months. All right, so... Put in your time there. And, uh, oh, you weighed those, too. What did you say they weighed? Yeah, they weigh just... uh, about 14.5 ounces, just under a pound. We started with three pounds, so they've lost about two-thirds of their weight. Yeah, because they're, they're a lot smaller than they used to be, <laughs> aren't they? And then what are these rocks for? These are just filler. They're easily recognizable, mostly just quartz and other things. A couple, of, like, fossils and, uh, yeah, Michigan rocks. Okay, that way we won't get them mixed up, and this just wasn't enough to fill the whole thing up. All right, so let's uh, we'll put those in, and uh, we'll check in with you on the next step. So it's been three days. Where are we at, Sam? Uh, so we just uh, rinsed them off and then put them through a cycle with some water and borax to clean them some more. And now we're going to put them with uh, 500 aluminum, aluminum oxide, oxide and borax. Yep, and uh, probably run them for probably four days. Something like that. All right, so we'll see you then. We're not showing you the rocks right now because we don't want them to dry out between stages. So they've just been rinsed, they're still wet, and we're going to put them back in before, we, uh, before they dry out. All right, it's been four days now, right, Sam? Uh, not quite, not quite. It's been seven instead. Uh, yeah, we both got busy and just didn't have days when we could get together and do this. So anyhow, here we are seven days later. It's not gonna hurt them to run a little, a little bit longer. So uh, anyhow, show us how they're doing. That's where we're at. This isn't a competition rock. This is just another one we had going in with them to fill the barrel. So next we're gonna put them in aluminum oxide for four days. Yep, the aluminum oxide polish and uh, and we uh, will we'll tell you what happens after that, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, we're back. It's been uh, four days, right, Sam? No, it's been ten. We keep forgetting. Not uh, we. This is all on him this time. <laughs> I, I've been available. He just hasn't come over. Yeah, I've been busy. Um, so we're going to put it in for another four days. And this time it has to be four days because we have deadlines. Uh, and it's going to be in Rob's magic sauce. 
Yes, Magic Sauce is actually a, a polish called OMG2. I just looked on the internet, I couldn't find any more. I got it from a place called uh, JS Gems, I think was the name of it. Uh, it's 0.3 micron aluminum oxide. So the polish we did last time for 10 days was <laughs> 2 micron, so 2 versus 0.3. So this is finer, so hopefully we get a little better polish. Uh, I won this contest in 2016, I think. Yes, 2016, uh, and this is what I used for my last stage, so the secret's out. So, uh, you're going to be, be able to come back, because I'm leaving town in four days. <laughs> I'll, I'll be here. Okay, he said it, you heard him. So, this is where we're at. This is not a competition rock again, this is shiny. We're going to make it more shiny. Yes, it's looking very, very good, so hopefully the contest rocks look the same. You haven't dried one off yet, have you? No, I have not. Okay, we, we're keeping them wet, uh, because that way no polish will dry in the cracks, so... All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Okay, it's now August 9th, so the deadline is the 15th. We've got to have them in. They're 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 done polishing, thankfully. That that's a good thing. Um these are we've we've been looking at them for about half an hour now. We've sorted out the ones that have lots of pits and cracks and stuff that we're definitely not submitting. And then we've been looking between these two piles. Um these are, and we've picked our top 5. So, we're going to and I had yeah, nothing okay. to do with this. When he says we, he means his girlfriend and, and, and him. And uh, I'm uh, not worthy because I've got old man eyes. <laughs> so so uh, you picked out all kind of black ones? Yeah, they ended up turning better, turning out better. Um, they've got some holes. Obviously, some of them didn't turn out very good. There's some deep holes and little pockets. Of, there's even maybe sort of crystals in some of these little teeny tiny pockets and a few cracks. But yeah, they seem to be the best. So when we looked at the rules, it doesn't say anything about handing in a variety of rocks. It just yeah. says that they're supposed to be free of flaws and no uh, no what, grit in the cracks or yeah. something. So. Yeah, they're judging it based on if there's any grit left in the cracks and holes and stuff and how shiny they are. All so. right, so let's uh, maybe take a quick little look at them up close and then... Uh, I guess the next thing we'll have to say whether you won or not. Yeah. So, <laughs> have to wait until September for that. Okay, here's the top five we've picked out. That one's got one little hole in it, but it's not terrible. It doesn't have anything in it that we can see. Nice and shiny. These are the ones that didn't make the cut. That one was, this one was cool. Nice pattern stuff. This one has got lots of pits in it. It's a cool color. Here's that one that was, looks like concrete that definitely didn't make the cut. Not even close. So there's the finished rocks. It was funny when you uh, won, you sent me a text in the middle of the day. Um, were you at school at that time? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I probably should have been listening to what your, <laughs> your teachers were telling you. Anyhow, uh, Sam sent me a text, and then about an hour later, Matt Johnson sent me a text telling me that he won second place. Um, so Matt uh, thanked me. He's, he learned some stuff from my videos and thanked me for those. So congratulations to Matt. And the third place winner was Zachary Belknap, uh, who I don't know, So, uh, but I'll say congratulations to him anyhow. So, I was wondering, um, near the end there, you kept not coming over when it was time to tumble or open the tumblers. Do you think your procrastination helped or hurt you? I think it helped. <laughs> Never hurts to go a little bit yeah. longer. So, I, I've been wondering, like, if we would have been opening those in four days, would, would you have won? Would, would maybe Matt would have come in first? I don't know. Anyhow. Yeah, it was only a couple point difference on the score sheet. So, don't... Uh, don't start procrastinating all the time, thinking it's always <laughs> going to help you. It's usually a bad thing. There is a deadline. So, um, trophies. Um, I got mine in 2016. I uh, just thought it was interesting how they make the trophies. They take the rock that you tumbled. Uh, mine was Arizona Petrified Wood. So, the base of my trophy is Arizona Petrified Wood. And what's yours called again? Uh, Lake Lohontan Agate. All right, and we saw a black and that grayish color in there, so yeah. you were saying, I wonder if it's even the same kind of rock. Well, you can see now from the trophy that yeah. it all comes from the same stuff. The agate part is debatable, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't know <laughs> if that would be classified as an agate, but... I guess. We'll, we'll go with it. So, uh, if you uh, want to learn more about tumbling, uh, I've got a playlist here for you. Uh, I've got stuff like, will sand be a good tumbling grit? What do you do with your slurry when you get done with it? 
uh, rotary versus vibratory tumblers to talk about different kinds of grits. So check that out and maybe you can learn a little bit and win a contest yourself.